Welcome back, kings and queens, to another episode of Thronefall with me, Dr. Munchkin. So, last time, if you've been following along, we've been playing the new levels, in particular, Morwick, and we were able to finally 100% it by completing this final challenge, where <laughs> if humanoid enemies die, they have the chance to respawn as ghosts. The first three waves are also a little bit fast, and a little bit more difficult, with the Wasp God being there, and the boss moving very, very fast at the end was quite the challenge. But today, since we've gone ahead and finished that, we will be venturing into lands anew and trying out this one. Now, there is an actual high score one, which maybe we wait until we do E to try to take on. We've been doing fairly well with the high scores in terms of we have been succeeding on our first try. But what I'm thinking is we do that and we undo all this now i needed to use the battle axe and we're also going to use the horse just to do that we're going to do this because we're going to do our crazy build we're going to start with more melee damage because that is a thing i have no idea what economy is going on here really don't so choosing an economy not not that advantageous but what i want to do is probably add some resistance for myself as well so now i have a lot of health more attack, more melee resistance. And we're going to go ahead and do the magic armor. Basically the same strat we've been continuing to do. I enjoy it quite a bit. But what else do we want? We could do the towers have more range and damage. That could be beneficial. We need one more though. I don't know if there's shrines. I, obviously there should be towers. We should be able to do that. And there should be quote-unquote research, I am hoping. But I'm going to go for this so I get stronger as the nights go on. And we don't know what boss there is, if there even is a boss. But we're going to go ahead and attempt this today. And as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys enjoy this content, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and build that. Let's explore the map. We have walls. I don't... We have shrines, which is good. We have research, which is good. Up here, we got units. We got the temple, which is really good. We have a harbor, which is solid. Good news for us. They're coming in over here. Massive wall over here doesn't look, at least at the level I'm at, I can't build a wall there. These guys are going to try to come in. Let's go ahead and try to get some economy set up. This is way out of the way. Um, I don't know if we're going to have a flying wave come through this way, but we want to get harbor up at least now. And then I want, is this the, yeah, this is the one I want. Because there's two, and they, you can see they look very similar. This one is the blacksmith. It's for research upgrades for me and my troops. This is the Royal Forge, which is just me, which is why I want that one. And then I know that shrine's there, and I want to activate it. But because they're going to come in this way, they probably will aggro the building. If I didn't build that building, they might have gotten all the way in there. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to do this. We're going to try this. And how many waves are there? There's 13. Okay. So we want these guys in range over here. So let's do this. Okay. It's close. It's not... It's not full, but we are starting to get research online. Now these guys, we're gonna just let them come all the way up here. I'm gonna try to get this one activated. That's fine. And I could spend some more. Would I don't have enough for that. I could get troops or I could get more research. Thing is, I think pretty sure I can handle them, so we're just gonna do this. But with all of them coming, oh, we can actually see the extent of the map. This is a huge map. Look at that. I'm wondering if they can actually come from down here. I need to check over there, but we really need to upgrade our castle, which means we need more money. Now we have the harbor being built, or rather, the harbor is built. You can see it up here. We have a singular boat, so we'll start to get income from that. This is now starting to attack, which is solid. And then we'll have that siege weapon. I'll hide, do extra damage against siege weapons. Alright. So 
I'm pretty sure with this we'll activate that. If you do not recall shrines, they were added a while ago, but they do provide you two gold per, per night if they are activated. In order to activate, you have to obviously take them on. I should have been attacking this sooner. The Battle of Attrition, I think we win. I could have gone down sooner had I not been a fool, a fool, you see. And we got that online. So this is now going to give us passive gold. Boom, boom. So two gold. We got spiders coming in. It's not the end of the world. They're coming in from down over here. What I kind of want to do is I want to build... Is this... That's the whole wall? Oh, that's cool. That means it would come all the way over here. We might be able to get that shrine activated. How much was this wall worth? Four. Do that. Problem is I need three in order to buy this. And we'll see if they, this should prevent, they should try to take the path of least resistance, which because this wall is here now, should be through me or not. That's not good. I mean, they'll be taken out by that. Oh, I think they're going for my research. Which is not... Not ideal. You come with me. We'll see if we can't get a little bit more progress on this guy. Okay, so we didn't lose any of that at least. Now, what the heck are these things? A fast siege engine that deals a splash damage. That's crazy. It is fast. Ooh, wait. Um, definitely need to upgrade. What we need is magic armor so I can buff myself. This does need. I do need. I need more economy. Is what I need. Um, what did that actually give me in terms of... I could build fields. We could try to do this shrine here. Don't know if that's going to work. Again, new map, new rules. Uh, I do have five. We are going to buy this mine. And then I have one that is useless. Or rather, I could actually buy uh, one of the pentagram things. Like there's a second there's a second harbor. We need to get that harbor. I don't want to buy the ones inside my base. I was looking for one like this one. And we will just go ahead and do maybe three ghosts. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. The three ghosts should be fine with the Oh man, these are nuts. Did not realize they would be doing that. I need walls. Come down here. Try to aggro them. Because these guys give a bit. If I do remember correctly. So now we have magic armor, we're going to be doing more damage to them, but I'm trying to activate the shrine. I did not realize how fucking aggressive these guys are. Uh, this will also give us more gold, which is why it's advantageous to us. And we activated that shrine, which is really, really solid. I kind of want to do the same here. Alright, 15 horsemen. You guys are coming out of this. Oh, lots of horsemen. That's not the end of the world. Um, what we can do, though, is we do need to start getting troops. That is something we do need. Um, we have money for troops. 
And we're going to go ahead and buy that as well. And we do need to continue our research. That's 9, that's 7, that's 16. <sighs> At least get the melee guys, get some berserkers online. Ah, don't be doing that. Need this. Need that. Um, I got... Apparently resistance, I hit the wrong one. That's fine. Come down here, though. I kind of want... Um, you know, you guys can be right there. I'm going to come down here and try to aggro them into this. I forgot my horse does damage. Okay. That's all done. Okay, good. This harbor should be being better up here. These guys I hate. We'll go ahead and upgrade that so you're a bit better. Um Go ahead and do that as well. Now, in terms of these guys, put you guys right there. Hopefully, activate that shrine. That would be good. We are going to go for longbowmen. I hope this one doesn't have a challenge of the range gun. That would suck. Put you guys there. You know, we'll go ahead and just spend a bit more on troopage. Something like that. And then you guys are going to come with me. Don't have any more money. That's okay. Everything is golden. And research is a kicking, so that kicked off. We're getting more money. Big wave out of the south. New enemy. What the heck is that thing? Siege tower on wheels. It takes reduced damage from fire and explosions. Oh my, that's insane. Um, let's go ahead and try to get more economy going. We'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Try to direct them this way. Yeah, that makes more sense. Something like that. I do also need to upgrade myself. That would be really good. But because we're kind of trying to direct them away, uh, there shouldn't be a lot of incentive to come this route. And because of that, um, I'm feeling going bigger for more money, but then also we can come here and we can build a field. Like that, and then we will go ahead and build this guy as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these guys, put them down here. Uh, no, 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 well you guys are gonna go right there. All of you guys come down here. All right. So these guys are stronger. Yeah, they're 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 quite strong. I probably could have gotten that shrine activated and I focused on it. Ah, 
I do extra damage with the battle axe that gets. Um, oh, let's pull these guys closer so everyone's shooting them, right? Um, I do extra damage against Siege, which is solid. Okay, we got these guys coming in and spiders. That's actually good. I'm going to try to do that. Um, I will need to bring potentially more archers in here. We do need to upgrade ourselves though we really don't have a lot of tower there's so much towers up here but i don't have any of it um we will go with that one what wave am i on i am on eight out of 13. we do need more research online like so let's do that and you are 14 so i can't do you that's okay this that is a hero what else do we have? More of that, more of that. Just towers and heroes? Oh, no, there's another barracks. Go ahead and grab you guys. We'll just do hunters, because I like hunters. And was there another... Oh, here it is. Second melee unit. We'll do that. Okay, so those guys are not going to be fun. Build that little wall. Um, just so they try to not completely destroy us. And build that house. I actually no, I'm good. I need to uh, I need more shrines. I need I need more of everything. But you guys are gonna come over here like this. Actually put you here. Okay, so that was the goal, because that's more income for us. This is a very risk map because of the income situation. These guys, I'm just going to help. I'm not going to help them. They didn't need me. But because there's two harbors, it actually might be advantageous for us to do that. Now, this is the fast siege weapons again. That is okay. What can we actually get here? Three elite ogres, um, and we spawn ten gold. I'm gonna try it just because, uh, you know, I hate myself. But uh, <laughs> we're also gonna come here, upgrade you to a sniper tower, and do a super sniper so we can do lots of damage. I believe these would be nice positionings for all that. We got tons of coverage as well as, um, strength, let's say. Now, these guys are going to be a little bit more difficult. Where do I want to be? You know what? We'll just put everyone center and see what happens. I forgot to do my own research. Alright. Big ogre guys went the other way. They broke free. We can take care of that though. Look at that health chunk. We try to get them over here. You should, boom, come into range and start really hitting them. Okay, that was good. That was really good. All right, I do need to buy that shrine though now. And what the heck is this thing? Windboat? A high, a high health flying siege engine with medium range attack? Oh, well, of course it is. Because why not? I don't do that. We need more troops. We need more... Um, 
research as well. Don't want to activate you because you're in, you're kind of inside the main base. Not not ideal. We're gonna do this and do the ice storm. That's 16. That's 16. Pretty sure the ones down here, or rather out here, are only eight. That helps us. And then I'm gonna come down here, not build that, but I will upgrade that wall as well as this tiny wall, hopefully. I can, I should, like that. So this should primarily focus them. Oh, you can't activate that twice, or, sorry, not twice, three times. Um, and it requires two that time. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab you guys, and we're gonna come over here. And I'm just going to do that. And we will head back over in a sec. Alright, I need to go see what these new things look like. Oh my gosh, these are insane! I mean, I can take all that out easily. I just cannot hit these things. Oh, no. Definitely need more towers for this guy. That's what we're going to focus on next. We're going to make this lots of towers. I think we live because we did a lot of damage with the towers and we have all the archers that are coming in. As well as my ice, let's say. This shrine is helping immensely. But distracting these with units so they don't shoot the towers is probably the key to winning that pit. Alright, what are we at now? Uh, enemies out of there, enemies out of... Oh, of course we got enemies out of this one. That's fine. And some of them are flying enemies. We are also going to activate this because, you know, why not? And we'll just do that because it's more fun. Something like that. And now we're going to come over here. That should be easier. We could build this wall here. that. I don't know why I keep going sniper towers. I do. And then we are going to upgrade this guy to be... Oh, we could take on two of them. That is all the melee troops. Well, all the archers over here. Like that. And then I go in over here. Did 
Did I, I think I forgot to do the ice again. Because the pyramid is actually super, super powerful. Okay, we did that. So that gives us tons of gold. Big stuff out of the cell. It's not the end of the world. This is a bit of annoyance. We're going to go ahead and build here as well, but we're going to do some armored towers. Like that. Upgrade them to hot towers. So if things try to destroy them, like these siege weapons, they're weak against that. Can't do that one anymore. That kind of defeats the purpose. We should probably upgrade that wall as well. I'm going to go for that pyramid. Just to get this. And for research, that is complete. This will be complete. That's excellent. We did that one. Let's see what else we got. I can build more towers. I think what we do is we start to build a towers here. Like that. Just because they can kind of shoot a little bit there and we'll build another house. Alright, I'm feeling defensy. I didn't get any heroes, or so far I have not gotten any heroes, so we're not technically done. Um, I'll just put everyone here. Actually, let's grab you guys and put you back here. And grab a few of you guys, put you over here. Yeah, because these towers are actually going to help a lot with the with the melee units. So we'll go ahead and split these guys up for consistency. But I just need to destroy these things. solo here with the leveling. Sorry, solo the, the damage it. What the heck? You guys failed me. They they will attack. Uh, the ice storm will not hurt my units, because it can hurt your own units, mind you. And this is why we built the hot stuff. That. These new enemies, though. I'm really liking the Zeppelin stuff. I think that is cool. those guys out. Perfect. Only lost a little bit of the field. It's not that bad. We have a mystery on our hand, which is the finalness. Um, we need to further at least try to upgrade all our defenses around the tower. That's what I'm thinking at least, and I do want to spend 25 there, so let's not forget that. Um, we can go ahead and do that. Get a bit of a sniper going like this. We will go ahead and drop this right now. And I don't know what it is. Is it a flying enemy? Is it not? Now, um, I could do the shrines. 300. We do have a few shrines scattered about. That could help. Um, we'll try it. Who knows? And then we can upgrade. We'll go ahead and get more berserkers. Okay. Final night. This map is huge. I'm really, I'm, I kind of like this peninsula. I'm like, oh, we can guard. We have the high ground. But let's go ahead and pull everyone in here and let's see what this is. Oh my, that's a castle? All right, luckily that's hitting it. Those are hitting it. These are protected slightly. I can hurt things that are in here, I guess. 
I don't know. I wish I wish I did. It just it just one shot that. It just runs over it. Oh, that, that I mean, man, that makes perfect sense. You see this thing? I'm so glad I didn't spoil this by watching other people. It's almost it's two thirds. Two th I'd say two thirds. Luckily, that shrine's hitting it. This can all be destroyed fairly quickly because of our build. I think I'll definitely go harbor and hunt me though. This is also why we wanted um, the shrine thing, because we're gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my god. That thing is insane, and I'm loving every minute of it. So that gave us a bunch of gold. We got another 33 gold on top of that no mutators no restarts so that's what we're looking about 600 for that and a new weapon blood wand medium range rapid attacks decrease sorry damage increases by 25 percent per second while attacking the same target faster attack speed and ramp up when stationary activate sacrifice your own health to deal damage to an enemy scales with your health slows you for four seconds upon use. Well, we'll have to try that. Oh, what is this, Pacifist Pact? Your auto attack cooldown is increased by 200%. Your ability cooldown is 200% longer, and you have 50% less health, but you get 40% more score. That would be really good and nice. We got a, we got a win. Um, if you're doing a commander mode build, you, you effectively have become useless for the most part. Uh, to begin with, but well, we knocked out two of them. Oh man, that that ending—that's nuts. This, not so worried about. Half your building to upgrade unavailable. That I'm slightly concerned about. And then what's this one? God of Chaos. Yeah, that one could be hideous because they start spawning closer and closer to base. Um, but we might want to do God of Choice just to figure it out, as well as. This one, no walls pack, so I can't build any walls. That that makes that one fun. Um, it, what it actually means is we go a little bit more central in terms of what we are doing. Uh, so that peninsula that had all those towers around our castle, we want to build that up, get that shrine activated, get all of that defense kind of super solid so anything that approaches close just gets demolished. And to that end, right, I'm not going to want this. I am going to want more tower-oriented builds and i think we'll try that out which means we don't do all this necessarily now that does scale with health right scales with your health so this actually could be helpful with the blood one but we will have to try that out next time this map is insane i am really enjoying it though and i look forward to continuing this one and once we 100 percent to this particular map we will move on to the final challenge which is toten i guess and then after that, we still need to go back and finish all these. We did a lot of them. Like, most of them are done. And then maybe we do an Eternal Trials. Just to, just to Season 4. Alright. I think I missed Season 3. Uh, that's fine, though. I mean, they're fun. They're just very, very long videos. Especially when you kind of get the handle of the game. Those first few waves, you kind of understand the nature of what's going on. But the reason we're playing these so much is that we need to learn all the new enemies, the new perks, the new layouts, because these will actually be a part of the Eternal Trials going forward. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Dr. Munchkin, signing out.